Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. A telegraph. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master? It is none of your business. I 
occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Watson, would you like some tea? No.
This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. The switch is rusted, but it still works. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master.
the station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. The switch is rusted, but it still works.
the railway ends here. That is strange. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle.
an advertisement for lake cruises. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. a label with the name Las Zarpas. Here it is.
This road should go in the same direction as the railway. Mines. This is interesting. for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. 